Well, 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 good evening, good evening, Lupus Warriors, and welcome to another video brought to you by the Lord's Lupus channel. Hello, 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 and how's everyone doing today? I hope that this video will find all of you doing well. My prayer for you is that you are staying uh, determined, focused, encouraged, and strong. That is my prayer for you today. So let's jump right into the topic of this video. What do you do when you've done everything that you can to prevent a flare, okay? You've ate right. Uh, you've chosen a healthy lifestyle. You're exercising. You are getting enough sleep. You are taking your medications and so on and so forth. But yet and still, you have a flare. And so, you know what that happens sometimes, even with the, you know, being prepared and taking the, the best precautions, sometimes you can still have a flare. And so what do you do? Do you feel bad about yourself? Do you beat yourself up? Do you sit back and you contemplate or wonder what else could I have done? Did I do something wrong? Am I not doing enough? Do you feel like you've failed? Yep, sometimes that happens, my friends. We feel like uh, we've taken all the precautions. We've done the best that we could. And this should not be happening. I should not be experiencing a flare. I've done, I've followed all the doctor's instructions. I've stayed away from things that I, you know, I should stay away from. Uh, I've incorporated things that I've been told time and time again that I need to incorporate. I've listened to all types of videos, testimonials. I've heard about everyone else's healing and remission. And here it is with me, with, you know, with all of this. I had a flare. And so what do you do? Well, first of all, let me tell you something. And I was watching um, a video by Dr. Romani today, and she's um, a leading psychiatrist and psychologist, um, you know, to the stars, you know, to, um, you know, uh, the popular people, you know, such as Will Smith, um, you know, just to name someone. Uh, she's a, a world-renowned psychologist and psychiatrist um, to famous people. And something that she said today that really struck me, she said, and I quote, there is no failure in healing. There is no failure in healing. And so I thought about that. You know, um, it makes a lot of sense. If you're doing everything that you can do, okay, and you still have a flare, there's no failure in healing. You didn't fail. There's no failure. Let me take it a step further. There's no failure in remission. Listen to me, Lupus Warriors. If you are getting out of the bed every day and you're moving towards your goals and you're doing everything that you can do to keep yourself healthy and to focus on your health and to improve your life as a lupus warrior, there is no failure in healing. There is no failure in remission. Things happen. So what do you do when things happen even with the best plans, even with the best goals, you know, even with your best intentions, things still go wrong. What do you do? You keep going. You stand by whatever it is that you've been doing that you know to do. You continue with your plans. You continue to eat right. You continue to exercise. You continue to stay away from the things that you know you need to stay away from. You continue to take your medication um, you know, as prescribed. You continue to get your seven to nine hours of sleep. You continue to self-care. Because there is no failure in healing. There is no failure in remission. You stay put, you stay focused, and you continue to do what you know to do and what you've been doing until you're told otherwise. 
You don't change a single thing. You don't beat yourself up. You don't walk around with your head down. You don't walk around feeling as though you failed yourself in some sort of way. You don't walk around feeling like lupus has defeated you or gotten you down. Because again, I say, as Dr. Romani quoted, there is no failure in healing. There is no failure in going towards your healing. There is no failure in going towards your remission. Regardless of what's, what happens, regardless if you do have another flare, you know, regardless if the flare is the worst one that you've ever experienced, even with your best intentions, you keep moving, you keep moving towards remission. You keep moving towards your healing. Don't beat yourself up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. You keep moving towards your healing. You keep moving towards your remission. And eventually one day, everything that you're doing is not going to go to waste. Everything that you're doing as a lupus warrior to take care of yourself and to be the very best you that you can be, you know, be kind to yourself. Be patient with yourself. Everything that you're doing, you're on the right track. You're going to be okay. Okay? Remission is not some far-fetched thought. You can have your remission. Just stay focused. Don't give up. A lot of times we're right on the cusp of our blessing and we give up too soon because one thing goes wrong. But guess what? God never promised that this journey would be easy. We were never promised that this journey with lupus is going to be easy. Just like when you're planning a trip, you have to plan for hiccups in the road. You have to plan for delays. You know, when you're driving on the road and you're taking a road trip, you know, there are going to be ebbs and flows with the traffic. You plan for delays. Someone may, you know, get into an accident ahead of you. Well, do you beat yourself up and, and throw in the towel and say, you know what? I'm going back home. I'm not going to continue on this journey. I'm going to cancel my vacation just because I ran into a bump in the road or a hiccup or there was some sort of a happenstance. No, you keep going forward and eventually you will reach your destination. And so what's our destination as lupus warriors? Our destination is remission. And for some I've heard of, you know, their destination being, <clears throat> excuse me, being healing. Whatever your destination is that you want to reach as a lupus warrior and whatever areas that you're working on in your life, you know, in my lupus journal, I always write down uh, the four areas that need improvement in my life. And you know what, no matter who you are, what's your socioeconomic status, no matter how much money you make or don't make, no matter what type of house you live in or don't live in, all of us are going through something. I don't care if you're rich or poor, all of us are dealing with something in our lives. Life, we were put here on this earth in this earth suit, and believe me, obstacles will try us. Things will try us every day. No one's life or path is really smooth and easy going, and there's no friction or bumps in the road. No matter where you come from, whether you're black or white or whatever the case may be, you're going to encounter some obstacles in your life. And so the thing is, what do you do when you encounter those obstacles? You know, we don't cower back and run back in fear. We keep pressing forward. The Bible tells us to press towards the mark of the high calling, to run the race for the prize. And to press means you're pushing against something that's pushing against you. Believe me, life is going to push against you. Life is going to find some sort of way to push against you. You know, whether you can get up and it's going to be the weather or another individual, your health, your job, your children, your family, your parents, something is going to occur in which life is going to try to push you and set you back a few steps. But you got to gird up and you got to be strong and you got to say, I'm going to press and push against what's pressing against me. I'm going to keep pressing forward until I get 
what I see in my mind until I get what I want. Come lupus or whatever, whatever lupus throws at me, I'm going to keep pressing forward. It's not going to stop me. It's not going to make me give up. I am going to press on this journey towards remission and nothing is going to stop me. That's when you get that, that lion-like focus, that tenacity of a pit bull where you lock in on something and you say, I'm never giving up. Come hell or high water, nothing is going to stop me from achieving my goal. And so if your goal is remission, if your goal is healing, if your goal is, is taking your two feet and getting out of the bed today, if your goal is, is eating healthy, if your goal is exercising, if your goal is staying away from salt and sugar, if your goal is improving your relationships, if your goal is improving your mentality, if your goal is getting over something, don't stop. Have that pit bull uh, mentality, that tenacity. Lock in and don't let nothing stop you. Keep on living. Keep on loving. Keep going, my friend. And as I always say at the end of every video, there is life after lupus. Remember this, the quote of the day, there is no failure on the journey towards healing. There is no failure on the journey towards remission. You got this. God bless you. Stay strong. Stay encouraged. And I'll talk to you again on the next video. Bye for now, my friends.